Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel TechyJack. In this video we will be implementing DNSSEC. We will see what is DNSSEC and how it works and finally we will configure it on our server. So stay with me and please subscribe the channel for more interesting updates. So let's see what is DNSSEC. DNSSEC is basically a security setting for a DNS that enables DNS record in a DNS zone to be digitally signed. So DNS client are able to verify and identify the DNS server. It helps in a like you can say it helps the DNS client to communicate with the uh, genuine DNS server. That means all the records in a DNS zone that means uh, host A record, pointer record, or a C name record all those record will be signed digitally so that whenever the client asks for those record it can ensure that it is communicating with the genuine DNS server it puts a security like a digital sign security on those records let's see how it works if you go to your DNS server and you see the DNS zone you will see the record inside it. Those records are like uh, name server, SOA, MX, A record, and CNA. So, by the help of DNSSEC, we can sign the zone and it will put a signature, like a digital signature, on these records. So, whenever uh, the client will query the DNS server, which is configured as a DNSSEC, the server will respond with a digital signature to make sure that the digital signature is valid or not. The DNS client will obtain the public key from the pair of public and private key associated with the signature from trust anchor. So DNS client must be configured with the trust anchor to work with this because trust anchor stored the public key associated with specific DNS zones. And also you have to uh, configure and create the name resolution policy table because a uh, DNSSEC rule in name resolution policy table will be used uh, by the client to determine DNS client behavior and it is also used by a uh, DNSSEC to instruct the client to request the validation through the use of signature. So let's move ahead and see how to configure it. Okay, now we are on a server and let's try to open our DNS settings. Here it is a DNS and I have two zones like cloud.com and techiejack.com. Here are the records, host A record, name server record, start of authority and if you want to create some more you can create the mail record, CNAME record. A record so I will be assigning uh, signing this zone that and uh, that is a cloud.com and you need to just right click at go to the DNSSEC and click on sign the zone now you will get the wizard for DNS security extensions and you can click on next and here we have a three option like customize zone signing parameters if you select this option you it enables you to configure all value for the key signing key and zone signing key and if you use this option it there should be a previously configured signing zone and I'm going with the default zone you can just click on the default and click on next and click on next and zone has been successfully signed click finish to close now you can see this zone you can see a small icon of a lock here and you can see here some RR signature that is R sign and next secure 3 that NSEC 3 these are created automatically once the zone is signed because if you see the zone it does not have it it has a it has a normal record like host A SOA and name server but this zone the cloud.com is digitally signed now so you can see these signature here now we can just right click on 
that particular zone and you have to go to the DNSSEC and the properties of DNSSEC and here you can see the trust anchors and you have to enable the distribution of trust anchor of the zone you have to check box the enable you have to enable this and click on OK the parameter for the zone have been modified and want to click on yes its configuration of DNS parameter was successful so it is done now okay now if you look on the this trust point you will see the two key here make sure you have these two here that is a DNS key should be here to, to properly work and now we have to configure uh, NRPT that is a name resolution policy table on the client computer and we will distribute NRPT to all client computers computer so that they know to request validation using DNSSEC and we will do that uh, with a group policy so let's go to the group policy management and we'll select the default domain policy and we'll click on edit and go to the computer configuration policies under windows settings let me maximize it and you see here it's a name resolution policy and here you can type the name for your domain that is techiejack.com and you have to enable the DNS sec in this rule and the also you have to check the validation this is a validation require DNS client to check that the name and address data has been validated by the DNS server you have to check this as well and you have to click on create and see here it is created now and we can do apply now DNSSEC has been applied guys if you like this video please do subscribe